Kira, welcome back to the shop. Now the other half's kindly asked me to make a cotton wheel holder. Uh, she uses it to hold all her cotton wheels that she uses for her quilting. So I am going to try and make it off a pitcher. I have no idea how I'm actually going to do it. I do know that I require a new tool for this project and I actually have no idea what tool that is, I just know I require it. That's why I'm doing this project. <laughs> I can't say that, you know. Let's go and make something. Now, it's probably a math formula to get this right, but if I just put that angle there like that, and just go there like that, I want my hole, I want that hole to be there. Yes, if we make that make that three hundred. And by my picture that I can hardly see by the way I, I have to work out an angle so I'll be back
better. I don't even know what to call these bits, but they're going to be at 4.50. Lightly. We come in 20 mil there. There. That should be leaving us 410. After 410 is. close enough for me. I've actually put a stop block stop on my drill press. She only comes in about five or six millimeters, possibly seven. Uh, doesn't come all the way down. Uh, and then what I'm gonna do to hold it straight is get the other one. Just hold it like that. So here's the tool for making it. Not another tape measure. Mm. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. You can find us on Google Plus, Facebook, Pinterest, and Twitter. Catch you next time. Don't forget to go and make something.